Let's turn to business news now with Giles Beckford. And Giles, hello. Nothing delicious for you to eat tonight, or you were magnificent last night and actually <laughs> evading eating any of those insects. Um, come the earnings season, beginning now, is it? Indeed. Well, just we're just on the cusp of it, John, but we've had the first indication that comes from the big retailer Briscoe's Group. Remember, that's the homeware stores and uh, Rebel Sports. Now, there's nobody more canny in the retail business than Rod Duke, who has the majority shareholding in that. Their fourth quarter sales report was a little bit soft going into the Christmas, New Year, some holiday, and as you can imagine, being quite seasonal, their sales fell slightly. But overall, for the year, their sales are up quite strongly, somewhere around 10% or more. Uh, and more to the point, the net profit forecast that they have for the full year is $59 million. That's 25% up on the previous year. There hasn't been a year, I think, in the past eight or nine that Rod Duke hasn't managed a double-digit growth on the profit uh, front. And you'd have to say that they probably quietly shine above most others in the retail sector in this country. Yeah, that is. I'm just looking at the figures here. That is a strong start, isn't it, to the year? Are we going to see similarly strong profit growth growth among well, other listed com companies, do you think? I think look, looking at the rest of the ones who are due from about this time next week, we'll start to see the flood of them. We've got about 50-odd companies reporting in basically 15, 16 days. Uh, the number crunches at the brokering houses, uh, they're thinking somewhere growth in profits and revenue of about 3%, and that suggests to me that uh, some mm. companies have probably hit their straps and about the limits of how far they can go, even in this current booming economy, uh, and others may actually be existing on fairly slim profit margins in order to make sure that they get the money through the tills. We'll wait and see, but clearly it's not going to be uh, a boom growth in company earnings this time around at least. Thanks, Charles. What happened on the markets today? Uh, a bit of a quiet day, two points down on the local share market, the top 50 index closing at, at 7,053, uh, New Zealand dollar 72.9 American cents and 95.4 Australian. Giles Bickford, our business editor, thanks very much indeed Giles.